Coach, thanks so much for joining us on the call today. If you take a minute to tie up the uh, the victory bell win against Miami of Ohio, please maybe a word or two about uh, Malik's play and his performance. And then we expect to see Saturday as you get into conference play uh, against Navy, please. Well, obviously it was a uh, crazy wild finish for, for us, and um, I think that the, the ability for us to stay together and continue to battle through and not panic, I think that's what, as we really look at the whole thing over as a program, as a team, you know, whether you say offensively or defense, we didn't panic. We're down there in the fourth quarter with, you know, a lot of backs against the wall and a lot of different things. And you saw our guys just kind of keep believing, keep plugging away. We, you know, did some things offensively to give ourselves an opportunity and then, uh, you know, tried to put some heat on them with, you know, um, the last, the last series there, whether we onside kicked it or kicked it deep, either way we had to make a stop and, and the ability for us to put some pressure on them to, to execute uh, to win the game, and, and you know they didn't. Obviously, they threw us, and, and Malik stepped in front of it and made an incredible play. Uh, but I think all in all, as, as we, you know, as a team, we started just kind of seeing ourselves and some of our wills starting to fight through late in the game, um, and that's what benefited us the most. Let's take questions for Coach Fickle, please. Hit star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue. Then the operator will introduce you. We'll go to Bill Cook, GoBearCats.com. Coach, you said uh, after the game started that you called that a program win. Could you elaborate on what you mean by that? Well, to to, to come from behind and to see the guys have to fight and struggle and, um, you know, to be down, a lot of people say down and out, um, you know, and you're new and getting to know each other and, you know, you're telling these kids you got to try to believe in the way we train, believe in the way we do things, why we went out at 5.55 or whatever in the morning in January and rolled through the – snow and the mud and to try to prepare yourselves for things that uh that you you can't even imagine the the situations and the stress and the things and you have to count on one another and so i think for those kinds of things to come to fruition and and see the success you have in a situation where people would say you don't have an opportunity but you just keep fighting and plugging i think especially early on in a program as these guys are getting to know us as coaches and you know our, our ability to <clears throat> get them to believe in the things we want them to believe in, and I think it. Uh, that's why I say it's a program win. All those hard winter conditioning things that pay off because they see it and they, you know, they can see better than they hear. We tell them that they need to that these things are going to benefit them in the long run, and then all of a sudden they get into a situation like that where we believe that uh, you know we were you know equipped for that. We were thriving more in the late in the game because of our training and things like that. I think it just goes such a long way for those guys to see some proof of, of the belief of the things that we have been preaching to them. So, so for what you're trying to do and what you're trying to build, that win was more valuable than say, if you had won by three touchdowns. I, I think so. I think so. Big time. Um, not to say we wouldn't feel a little bit better, but the reality is, is there's amazing things you can learn from winning um, and to be put in some of those situations to see guys, you know, you really have to count on each other and, and to come from behind. And, you know, we tell them, we're, you know, right now, we, this is who we are. We, you know, this is, we're fighters, we're blue cut, we're going to work our butts off, we're going to, you know, get ourselves into some situations and put a lot of these games into the fourth quarter. And, you know, we're going to have an opportunity to win them because of our training. And, you know, we've kind of said that from January on that. You know, we're not sitting here claiming we're going to go out and score 55 points and outscore people or shut people. I mean, no, we're going to we're going to do it as we do, and we're going to find a way to be successful. We're going to get games to, you know, to the fourth quarter where we think that you know our training and things are going to give us an opportunity, are going to give us the benefit and and the upper hand to to win those games. And we kind of say the same thing about the season. We want to play our best ball at the end of the year and at the end of games. Great, thank you. We'll take our next question from Dan Tortora, wakeupcalldt.com. And he has withdrawn his question. We'll go next to Bill Wagner, Baltimore Sun Media Group. Hey, Coach. I cover Navy for the Baltimore Sun in uh, in our area. Um, just your thoughts on Navy and playing them on a short, you know, short turnaround and uh, the challenge of the option and just uh, going on the road the whole the whole nine. Oh, it's it's everything. I mean, I'm sure you ask it very similar to everybody that comes because it, people just don't see it that often, and it's unique for us. Um, it's unique in the first year in your program. 
you know, because even a few years in, guys are settled into, you know, what you do offensively, what you do defensively, um, what you do special teams, all the things that, you know, that you're having an opportunity to do over time, um, you know, being in your first year, then all of a sudden, you know, having to play the, the option, which is, is different in, in the way you handle things, the way you go about things. So it gives us, you know, a little bit, uh, it gives us a lot more things to work on and, and, uh, you know, but we had to do a decent job. We've had some preparation through camp and some things like that. But um, to me, we we always know coming down to playing, you know, an option team, it's going to be about discipline. It's going to be about fundamentals and the things you do. And um, you know, the game is a bit different now, and and you're not seeing. We saw it two weeks ago with Michigan, a lot of downhill runs and some things like that. But uh, so much of it is spread, and, and there are option elements in it of reading things. There's nothing like this that really can prepare you for you know, what you're going to see this week and the speed of the game. So um, it is definitely a, a unique challenge, especially to me, a unique challenge in the, in the first year of the, of the program. You, you faced Navy when you were at Ohio State. Do you think that, that experience will help you in this situation? Well, we got a lot of guys that have faced them. You know, I mean, obviously Coach Sanuda is, you know, our, our, our defensive backs coach has faced them, and Willie Martinez was at Georgia, and they faced Georgia Tech, and, uh, so we've got a lot of guys that have faced them, you know, from the defensive side of, of the ball. But again, it's trying to put all those minds and all those things together. For me, uh, I faced them twice uh, at Ohio State. The unique thing for us at Ohio State, and the biggest difference was it was the first game of the year. In the first game of the year, you right. got a lot more preparation time uh, throughout your entire camp and how you do things. So um, this being the first time I've ever had to face them in the midst of a season, you know, the fourth week of the of the year is unique and different for me as well. Thank you, Coach. Sure. We'll go to Dan Tortora, wakeupcalldt.com. Hi, Coach. How are you? Good. The uh, Just to ask you about Hayden Moore and just what you could say about how far he's come in these first few games is what you've taken away from your quarterback at this point. Well, it's still the process. And I'm mean, seeing <laughs> we had some situations and, and late in, or not late in the game, but, you know, down in the goal line and red zone are the things that, you know, that we, we can't have happen. And sometimes that's just a little bit of, on the aggressive side. We've, we've kind of tabled that and to say, hey, we're going to ask you to do the things we're going to do and, you know, be a little bit more of a management guy of the game. And and when you when that's the philosophy that you have that, you know, when you get down the red zone especially, you, you can't make poor decisions. Um, so that's the only thing that we're going to continue to harp upon for him. Other than that, again, he's he's done the things that, that we've asked him to do in management. Um, you know, he's taken we, – we got a little bit later in the game and you saw at least a little bit more of him taking some shots and some things down the field, which we have to be able to do a little bit more. Um, and I think in the first couple of games we didn't take any shots down the field uh, until until Saturday night where, you know, a little bit later we, we started to at least say, hey, we got to get the ball down the field a little bit, which – you know, I think can open up some people and open up a quarterback as well. So it's still a process. I think he's understanding what we mean. Uh, his ability to pull the ball down and run a little bit too, I think, is where we're growing to. Um, but I think the other thing with that is, is you know, just the management and understanding of you know what exactly do you expect? Hey, you know, the field goals aren't bad. Not that that's what we want, but if they don't give us what we're looking for, we we can't try to force things, especially down on the goal line. Thanks, coach. I appreciate it. Sure. And do you have any other questions for Coach Pickle, please? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Well, Coach, thank you for your time today. Look forward to hearing from you again next Monday. Thank you.